Good Friday morning, Glads. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And I'm Isaac Fleet, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, to stay on top of upcoming college visits, check with the Counseling Center in person or visit their website. Here are the visits scheduled for February. The Tulsa Welding School will join us on February 6th, then the reps from UCCS will return on February 7th, followed by Colorado Mesa on February 20th. In March, Adam State returns for a visit on the 7th, and April visits kick off with Western Colorado University on April 17th. Remember, you need a pass to attend these college visits and you can get those passes in the counseling center. Seniors, here is some news you can use. Do you have your class shirt yet? They are still available for $15 in the counseling center, but quantities and sizes are limited. Oh, put this one in your calendars. We just got word from the counseling center about the date change for the senior panoramic. It's on February 5th instead of the 13th. Get your shirts now and avoid FOMO. If you are planning to apply for the Fountain Valley Scholars Scholarship, get your applications ready right now because the deadline is February 1st. On the other hand, if you are short on credits for graduation or you dropped the ball in classes last semester, get ready for the next session of credit recovery classes. The deadline to register is February 6th and the spring session starts on February 11th with the orientation and pre-testing in Lab 153 at 3.30. Remember, you can take up to two classes per session and the tuition is $100 per course. See your counselor for more information and details. You can register on the WSD3.org page, then select District Programs and click on the High School Credit Recovery. Glads, it's time to start selecting your classes for next year and some of those classes require applications. For example, to join us here on the KWHS staff, you can pick up an application in room 102 from Mrs. Noop. Those of you who are interested in joining the yearbook staff, pick up those applications from Mrs. Kennedy in room 104. Both the KWHS and yearbook applications are due January 29th. If you are interested in becoming a teacher in the future, check in with Ms. Ship in room 202 for an application for the Teacher Cadet Program. You can also get an application in the Counseling Center. Juniors, you could start signing up for the Career Start Program to take classes at PPCC next year. Sign up in the Counseling Center by January 25th. That's next Friday. If you need more information about the program, check in with the Counseling Center. But don't delay, the early bird catches the worm. When we return from the break, we'll have some new information on upcoming test prep sessions. But first, we're heading to the sports test with our Gladiator Sports Update with Ethan Simon. Happy Friday morning, Glads. I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Yusafa Athletics is hosting Student Appreciation Day on February 2nd at 2 p.m. at Clune Arena. Come watch the Air Force Academy Falcons take on the CSU Rams. Tickets for students are just $5, and adults are 7 Visit this website and use the promotional code STUDENT to get your tickets. Attention, NJROTC cadets. The military ball is planned for March 16th, and it will be here before you know it. If you are interested in bringing an outside guest, you can pick up those forms in the main office. They are due on Friday, February 22nd. We will have more information on the ball later. Our forensics team is on the road this Saturday at a varsity tournament at La Junta High School. We wish them good luck and strong speeches. Last night, the pep band was in strong form and added the extra topping to the boys' basketball game as the Gents hosted the Elizabeth Cardinals. Our Glads added another win to their season record. The boys will be at Mitchell on Saturday for an early game at 3 p.m. If you haven't caught the boys in action, they would appreciate your support. Our ladies also took on the Elizabeth Cardinals last night in Elizabeth, and the ladies continued to light up those rims. It was a scrappy game, but our ladies prevailed. If you haven't caught the ladies in action, they are home on Saturday at 3 p.m. in Bowers against the Mitchell Marauders, and KWHS is manning the concession stands. So come cheer on the girls and get your quality snacks from your favorite news crew members. In swimming news, congratulations to the Lady Grizzlyators for their 113-41 to victory over Woodland Park on Wednesday. 19 personal records were set. The girls travel to Fountain Fort Carson today for the Trojan Invitational Meet starting at 4 p.m. and Saturday at 8 a.m. And speaking of swimming, gentlemen, mark your calendars for the informational meeting on Wednesday, January 23rd at lunch in room 110 
and for all boys interested in trying out for the swim and dive team. Practices begin on February 25th. In wrestling news, congratulations to our wrestlers who earned some well-deserved pins against Mesa Ridge. Shout out goes to Avalino Mota who earned one of the quickest pins of the night. The team is back on the mats this afternoon starting at 4 p.m. and Saturday at 9 a.m. at the Doherty Tournament. Ladies, if you're interested in playing tennis this spring, today is your day. Be sure to attend the informational meeting at lunch in room 115. Although this is Mr. Washington's room, sadly, he will not be coaching tennis. If you are unable to attend the meeting, check in with Coach Portugal or Miss Miles for the details. If you wanted to get bigger, faster, and stronger, but you missed the weight program meeting yesterday, don't be deflated. Check in with Mr. Cobb in room 200 for those details. Most of us know that sitting in the stands in Bowers or Foster Stadium can be hard on the tushy. If you have ever found yourself wanting a more comfortable experience, then you should check out this deal. The band department is selling bleacher seats. They have hard plastic backs with replaceable padding and carrying straps. They are adjustable and they have a zipper pocket. But wait, there's more. They have a Charlie logo on the back. They are selling them for $25 for one or $40 for two. Catch the pep band at all home games to buy your stadium seats. They're perfect for basketball, football, and volleyball games. Your tushy will thank you. And finally, if you made New Year's resolutions that include losing weight or eating better, here's our first segment of the second semester for Damon's Dose of Health. Hey guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health. Happy 2019. Statistically speaking, by January 12th, 75% of you have already given up on your New Year's resolutions, but that's okay. What I wanna give you guys is a couple tips to make changes in your life outside of your resolutions if you've already failed. The top five resolutions every single year tend to be the same. Eat healthier, exercise more, save money, read more books, learn a new hobby. But if you're like most, you've already failed at it. So let's try talking about making some positive changes in our lives. First one is I'd like you guys to come up with some smart goals for yourselves. Whether that is to lose weight, whether that is to save more money. Make decisions, set some goals, and make sure that those goals are achievable. Next thing you need to do is prepare your mind uh, for the changes that you need to make to be successful within your goals. Next step is limiting the amount of resolutions you have. If you try to do a complete overhaul of your life, most likely you're gonna end up failing at all of them and resort back to the habits that you've already had. Start with a big goal or a big overall desire and then break it down into smaller goals that you know you can accomplish along the way. And finally, if you do end up failing, make sure you get right back to your goals, whatever those are, whether that's exercising, eating healthy. If you do have a, a lapsed moment, just continue to press forward. Rather than quitting altogether, uh, continue to press on. And this is your 2019 Damon's Dose of Health, New Year, New Me. Thanks, Mr. Damon. Those are smart ways to reach those goals. Stay tuned next week when Mr. Damon will talk to us about getting outside more. That's it for your Gladiator Sports Update. I'm Ethan Simon. Have a great three-day weekend. Now back to the news desk with Cheyenne and Isaac. Thanks for that update, Ethan. Glads, Mrs. Griggs will be having a mandatory step meeting at lunch on January 24th in room 131 for all students currently in the program and students interested in the program this semester. If you are unable to attend, please see Mrs. Griggs in room 131. Ladies, if you need a dress for the military ball or the winter formal, you should check out Becca's Closet. They have many new dresses in all sizes and styles and would love for you to come and pick one out. You do need to have an appointment. See Miss Ford or Mrs. HK in the library. And now, here's Miss Betsy with the lunch menu. Hey, happy Friday, everybody. So excited to have a long three-day weekend. Don't come to school on Monday. But today we're gonna have enchilada casserole, three fried beans, and then on Tuesday, when we come back, it will be a bread uh, and chicken sandwich. Hope to see you then. Have a great weekend. Bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glad. Remember to add money to your account by seeing Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or by going online. Students, Renaissance applications are now available on the school website under activities. Applications are due on January 24th to Miss Sardinia in room 130. Freshmen, you are eligible to apply this semester, so check it out. Glad. This April, when we take these exams, it will be important to earn strong scores because the test will count as a graduation requirement for some of us. To help us prepare for these exams, WHS is offering test preps 
sessions during advisory every Thursday for 10 weeks. Here's how it's going to work. First, we do have to sign up for these sessions being offered. We can't just show up at the last minute. This is so teachers can expect to see you and can have the proper number of materials ready for students. The sessions available include reading, writing, math, test anxiety, and content boost with Khan Academy. Advisory teachers should have their flyers posted in their rooms. To sign up, get yourself to the library on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesdays each week. And, as we said, study sessions will be on Thursdays during advisory. The location for your session will depend on the session you are attending. Oh, that reminds me. If you do sign up for a session, you must show up because attendance will be taken. Remember, signing up for these sessions is voluntary, but the sessions are free and you might boost your test scores so you can graduate on time. And frankly, what do you have to lose? The first sessions will be held on Thursday, January 24th, and sign-ups will start on January 21st. You should totally check these out. Finally, our teachers work extra hard to make sure we have amazing educational experiences. Here are a few shout-outs for some of our teachers. So the first one is from Dylan Shea to Miss Caps. She's caring, selfless, and goes out of her way to help make sure we achieve success. The next one is from Rosa Aldaz to Miss Ford. She says, Miss Ford shows ownership in her class and strives for our excellence, teaching us different forms of respect. This last one is from Anonymous to Mr. Damon. He is a really good role model and he is there when you need him and gives really great advice. If you would like to recognize your teachers, fill out the reverse power cards in front of the attendance office, in the library, or in the counseling center. We will have videos for you later in the semester. If you have received power tickets, you can drop those in the boxes at the same locations. Use the shiny silver boxes. That's all we have for you today, Glads. Have a great Friday. I'm Cheyenne Gallier. And I'm Isaac Fleet. And this was your KWHS News. Enjoy the three-day weekend.